invent some scheme for learning. He just modulate visual learning how he understand and uh, call this scheme perceptron scheme. You can see the first layer, which is uh, retina, and it connected to the second layer by some neurons with fixed weights. And then it was short uh, layer of neurons with uh, not permanent weights and adjustable weights. And to adjust these weights, uh, perceptron for actually learning. But this is very particular scheme. Mathematical scheme considers that there exists input space x and set of function f of x. But from mathematical point of view, it does not matter how this scheme working. The matter is that there exists set of functions f x alpha alpha is parameter of sets is parametric set of functions. But formally, it is not. It can be abstract a parameter, so there are no restriction of the set of function. And during training process, when you're looking on your observation x1, y1, and in the simplest case, y01 classification in two classes, so you should pick up one function from the set, and uh, that is the goal of learning. And you, 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 you're supposed to do to pick such functions that uh, can classify uh, your new objects with with small amount of error. Well, this theory, this this machine was invented in beginning of fifties, but in sixties and seventies, absolutely beautiful theory was developed about uh, uh, learning machine. So on about uh, pick up one function from the set of function, but the main uh, the main result of this theory was that there exists two and only two factors that are responsible for generalization, and this is only two is very important, and one factor is the number of training errors. When you pick up your function, how many training errors errors of your observations you doing. Yeah. Lala, why is labels? Right. Yeah, it I is, I, I don't know. Are you know standard machine learning uh -huh. theory? Of course not. Oh. No, of course not. So, uh, okay. Just, uh, yeah, so no, no, no. Then, then the oh, I, I, I saw that you know that. Well, I mean, the, the <laughs> okay, okay. So, so. Uh, okay, okay. So, uh, you have labels and you should learn. Uh, to 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 make uh, uh, reasonable labels, but to learn means to pick up one function from the set of function. It does not matter that it is binary function or not binary function. It can be any function, but it is uh, pretty general uh, s s setting of the problem. And theory also pretty general. It says that there exist only two two and only two factors which are responsible for generalization, that means for uh, choice of good function as candidate for, for classification. And uh, the, the first is percent of training error, which is obvious. And the second is capacity of the set of function. That is not obvious, and that is the most important, important part of the theory. And it was two concepts of capacity. We see dimension and we see entropy. VC dimension gives necessary and sufficient conditions of learnability in situation when uh, you don't know probability measure for any probability measure. Access. Access. It is no, nothing based in here. You, you, no, not labels. You have X which generate your nature and, and you should classify on, 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 on the future examples which you have to classify. So you can know distribution on this set of uh, examples, or you can uh, j just this, this, this distribution exists, and that is enough. So in first case, we, we know uh, necessary and sufficient conditions where you know it is VC entropy. And in the second case, you know necessary and sufficient conditions for learnability, it is VC dimension. I will not go in details what it 
means uh, you can read the name the book with this classical concept now. And even more, this probability one minus eta, the bound was developed. And you can see the bound, it is uh, upper bound and low bound, low bound in, 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 in blue. An upper bound says the probability on your uh, uh, test error, and the error which will give function which you pick up from the set of function is less than frequency of errors which this function makes on your training data plus some um, function which is known function. I wrote O for star from square root this from this dimension minus uh, minus uh, logarithm eta, that is this probability one minus eta over L. The most important part that uh, this uh, function is have order of magnitude square root from one over L. But there exists another case when, uh, say, you make no errors. In this case, you have a bound which have no square root from L, one over L. It is much, much faster than, than uh, in, in general case. When you're looking on the, some samples and you're making some percent of errors from your training, er, uh, training data, you have square root from one over L, confidence interval. But when you have no errors, you have one over L. And it is huge difference. So you cannot improve this bound. They're achievable. And that is the, the, the uh, foundation of the theory. And also theories suggest to do something when you're practically trying to solve the equation, uh, namely uh, try to minimize right hand side of the uh, first bound, which show uh, frequency of training the error plus confidence interval. So to do that, it suggests so-called structural risk minimization induction principle. If you have some set of functions, say this set of function S, you construct smaller subsets, the nested subsets of functions. S1 includes an S2, and so on. And with VC dimension H1, which is less than H2, less than, it, and so on. So, and then uh, you're trying to, you, you pick up subset with the smallest VC dimension. And you, you have fixed second term and minimizing number of training curve and so on. And you're minimizing right hand side. This trick is called structural risk minimization. You're given set of function, you're creating <coughs> your structure on the set of function, and then you're minimizing along the structure. There, there's no guarantee that your function, there are, there are no I will give you theorem. The 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 no, the theorem says. That, uh, uh, that if you have structure by finite VC dimension and your function uh, belong to closeness of this structure, then you will find uh, the risk which is, which is uh, equal to the, to the best function you can. This theorem uh, uh, about strongly universal conversion consistency of the structural risk minimization. It is great because you, if you uh, implement structural risk minimization, you always will find the best possible solution. Uh, even more, in mid-90s, it was invented support vector machine algorithm, which implements the structural risk minimization. So you have instrument which converge to Bayesian solution um, as soon as you increase number of observations. That was in the theory. And it looks like um, this theory almost exhausted because it's answer on all, all your questions. It gives necessary and sufficient conditions for learnability. It gives bound which cannot be improved. It gives a uh, principle which you can, you, you have to, to implement to get uh, algorithm, and it gives algorithm which satisfies this principle. But the devil is in details. 
people observed that uh, human students require much less examples for learning than machine. And the question is why? Uh, Japanese proverb answers this question. Uh, better than a thousand days of diligent study is one day with great teacher. It is amusing, but during 50 years of study of machine learning, nobody pay attention that there exists teacher. I'm talking about teacher for the first time, actually. So that means that existing of teacher can, can speed up the rate of convergence. And the, the, the main question, and this is the subject of my talk, what teacher does? So let us include, I call it intelligent teacher, because in uh, terminology of machine learning, there exists teacher, but it is trivial teacher. So during learning procedure, intelligent teacher supply training examples with additional information, which can include comment, comparison, explanation, logical, emotional, and metaphoric reasoning, or so on. He's just talking blah, 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 blah. Uh, and this additional, we call it privileged information. Privileged, it's uh, because you have it when you're working with students. You don't have it when, when you're op operating alone. Uh, mm, privileged information is available only for training examples. It's not available for, 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 for future testing. So let me give you a little bit more formal. There exists classical setting of machine learning, a new setting of machine learning. The classical setting of machine learning are given training pairs, x1, y1, xl, yl. Uh, y is 0, 1. It is for pattern recognition case, but it's immediately generalized for any cases. Uh, find among the given set of functions the one that minimizes probability of errors. A new setting, given triplets x1, x star 1, y, x1, l, x star l, y, l, x from space x, x star from different space. We consider two different spaces. Uh, where x star generated by intelligent teacher. So intelligent teacher, and that is important, it, it, it has a generator. It generates x star depending on x. So he invented blah, 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 looking on the picture. Uh, uh, find among the set of uh, uh, functions the ones that minimize the probability of test error. The, s the, the, the requirement is the same, to find the best function, but we have additional information which generate teacher. I will show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, uh, my, my, my idea, and I will show the teacher talking nonsense. And he talking something metaphoric. And that is the most important part of learning. So whatever we, 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 we don't, I, I will talk about that. X star is some other space. It's nothing, to do <coughs> it's nothing to do with function. It is new space. You have space of pixels, for example, when you would like to recognize. Oh, let me give you just example to keep it in mind. Uh, so suppose you would like to, to classify cancer, uh, image of cancer for biopsy. You have pixel space and you have picture. But also you have description of picture uh, given by pathologist who writing aggressive proliferation of cells type I into cells. Type. So you have two spaces, space of pixels in, and space of description of pathologist. It's nothing to do with this function. And you would like to, to, to find function in pixel space which can separate this. So that is privileged information. And I will show you, it can be any nonsense, not necessarily like that. Uh, 
So let me come back to, 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 to perceptron, to generation action of perceptron. So we introduce support vector machine and a couple of words about support vector machine. So what it does, uh, suppose we will construct separating hyperplane, like in perceptron on the last layer. So we will do following. We will minimize W vectors of W uh, subject to, 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 to constraint. This is the second line. So it is quadratic optimization problem. It, it's convex. It, it, it has solution in, in case where exists separating hyperplane. And this is what support vector machine initially did. And according to general theory, the probability of error if you separate your training data will be uh, mm, uh, without square root, uh, just one over L, and in numera numerator is uh, VC dimension. So, but more interesting case when you cannot separate with no error. Then you generalize like that. You, you uh, introduce slack variables, which is size, and you have second line uh, you would like to separate and subtract slack variables. You're minimizing the slack variables over there. And uh, you can find the solution. It also, solution exists. It is also a uh, quadratic optimization problem. But when you will do bounds, you will see that here it's one over square root. Why it's so big difference? Let me say guess. So in first case, you're looking for uh, n parameters of vector w. Uh, for non-separable case, you're looking n parameters for vector w plus l parameters for slux variables. And l is uh, exactly equal to number of your observations. So, and when number of observations will increase, so uh, number of parameters also will increase. It does not matter that you don't, uh, you, you don't, uh, the most of, of, of slack will be equal to zero. You still need to estimate all of them. Okay. So, uh, if it's so, let me do key observations. Suppose we have Oracle teacher who can give us uh, slugs, real slugs, which you have to subtract in, in this quadratic optimization problem. Then you should solve the problem which you're minimizing W subject to constraint, which on the right hand side you have not one like in the uh, separable case, but RI. And RI is one minus slack variable. So in this case, you have, again, you have non separable case, but you have one over L. Teacher, teacher does not know slack. T teacher doing something else. So if uh, I call Oracle teacher, guy who knows slugs. If he knows slugs, it gives you, you're in good shape. But it's unrealistic. This is example how, uh, of, of problem. You can see uh, red is just SVM, which converge to Bayesian solution. And blue is, uh, or, uh, is SVM plus, we call it SVM plus. If you uh, Oracle SVM, if you give slugs, it's converged to the same solution, but much, much, much faster. OK, what teacher can do? Of course, teacher, teacher does not know slugs. But maybe he knows a set of functions which contain slug function, because slug is variable, but I can consider slug function like set of function with infinite VC dimension, like any function I can imagine. So in this situation, I have, okay, I have something uh, wrong. I estimating, uh, say, uh, function with from finite VC dimension. It is decision function. But when I'm talking about slug, I estimating s function from the set of function with infinite VC dimension. And that's why I, I believe I have this uh, one over square root. OK, there is a theorem which says that I, I, I will skip the theorem because I, I don't have a time to explain that uh, what's happened. You have 1 over L plus something which going on in uh, space of 
suggested by teacher, but with everything now depend on teacher. So the bottom line is the goal of teacher to introduce both x star u space instead of slug function in that file, and try to speed up rate of convergence um, of learning uh, from 1 over square root of L to 1 over L. And that is huge. So instead of 100,000 examples, you can use 300 examples. So, well, let me come again to the idea of SVM algorithm. As I told that what is SVM algorithm does, it transforms pairs, training pairs x, y, 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 into training pairs z, y, z y, 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 by mapping vector x in some space zeta. I'm not talking now about what is the space. And then it try to find in the space zeta uh, separating hyperplane. It's exactly the same idea as used Rosenblatt, but implemented in a uh, ma ma mathematical general way. OK, I can do that. But then I can define, and, 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 and my solution de will depend on uh, inner product. And I can define inner product using Mercer kernel. Uh, actually, uh, inner product in zeta space yes, is, is some Mercer kernel in x space. I will not talk about that. It, is, uh, it takes time. It is reproducing kernel here, that space. Yeah, I don't know if you know that. No, it is machine. It, it's not business of teacher. No, it is ma, ma, so when, when, when you look at the perceptron of Rosenblatt, he suggests some scheme. When you're con constructing your uh, machine, you, 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 you're creating some scheme. And that is business of machine. Teacher does not know what it's part of the algorithm. It's part of the algorithm. So, uh, Actually, this is quadratic optimization problem. And if you will do accurately, if you will solve this problem accurately, your, your answer will be so uh, that SVM uh, have a this representation, this first line. It represented like that. You, you, you see this is Mercer kernel and one mm, parameter of Mercer kernel, vector x, y is fixed and alpha y is parameter of expansion and x is free parameter so your, f your function has this type of representation and to find alpha you should maximize uh, equation number three subject to constraint and you have this constraint this is, this is just uh, uh, a solution of quadratic optimization problem you have to do that and it is easy to do and there are very good algorithms which can do that. And uh, so it is not, not, not the problem. But I would like to, <coughs> to pay your attention on the following fact. The kernel K <coughs> XIX comes in two, in two different ideas. The first, it is expansion on the set of functions in the equation two. It just defines expansion of the set of functions. On, in, on equation three, it describes similarity between two vectors of observation. So it is different roles this kernel plays in learning theory. Role of expansion of the set of function and role of similarity between examples. Well, now I would like to introduce idea of uh, SVM plus algorithm, which is uh, have this idea to, to, to estimate slug function. So I will write slug. I, I will do following. I will uh, transform training triplets x, x1, 
x1, x1 star y, to, to triplets z1, z1 star y, where uh, zeta z belong, zeta belong to, 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 to zeta space, and, and zeta star belong to zeta space. So I'm mapping x in zeta and zeta and x star in zeta star. So I, to, I do two mappings because I would like to estimate two different functions. One function for decision function and another function for uh, slug function. So I will write uh, uh, this formally and that is written in, 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 in the, uh, the, the middle line where um, I, I owe a function I'll subject to the constraint. It is exactly the same function which was for SVM, except for Xi, I would like to, to compute Xi, and I, I, I gave form of this Xi in, in the equation. Uh, now I can use two Mercer kernel, exactly two se reproducing kernel hyperspace instead of one, as uh, I did for support vector machine. And <coughs> after quadratic optimization, I will have uh, the following uh, answer. The decision function has a form, and you see form, which is exactly the same form as decision function for SVM. But to find coefficients, I have to maximize function now. It is in the middle of the slide, subject to constraint. And whatever written in blue, it is new appearance comparing to uh, SVM. It is new because we have additional information. It depends on X star and whatever teacher talking to you. So actually, we have correction on here on similarity. What teacher does? Teacher try to correct similarity between examples. So, and I would like you to, to, to to remember that what we try to do, we try to control the C dimension of the slugs. And when we did it, we came to, to similarity control on, on, on the examples. So you did so far you did not assume anything about the generation of X star from X. You are just I will not talk about that. I don't know. It is God knows so what how teacher doing that. Right. So but Yeah, but you, you can see I have extra parameter alpha and beta. And when alpha equal to beta, it is zero. So student can reject correction of teacher. Wait a little bit. It's too early. <coughs> on, on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me give you examples. Then you will have intuition, and then I will come back to this equation and, and we'll discuss it. So this is the problem, classification of protein into families. Get this. So uh, the decision space is amino acid sequences. So people would like to make classification using amino, uh, amino acid sequences. And privileged information is 3D. Uh, it is information about 3D molecules. So 3D molecules has everything, and uh, uh, but but sequences is, is much poorer information about that. So during training procedure, I have both of them, but testing I would like to do using sequences. So that is the result. We we test 80 cases. In 11 cases there was no improvement. Never was worse, but in 11 cases was no improvement. Then small improvement then huge improvement, say, for more than five times. And it is in nine cases and 30 cases. It is, uh, 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 let, let me illustrate. Well, this is comparing the using the intelligent information and not using it. Right. So now I will give you table. Uh, the, first col uh, this is the first column is different families. Second column is what SVM does. Third column, what SVM plus with, with. And uh, last column, it, uh, what SVM can do 
on 3D information. So in 3D information, SVM almost make no uh, errors, except for last the a lot of errors, but I think something wrong in, 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 in classes, in how, how people uh, make these classes. But you see, sometimes you have great improvement with not first three times less errors. Some uh, second is ten times less error. But here is no improvement. It is absolutely normal. Let me give you example. The diamond and graphite contain the same element, carbon. And the only difference in structure of one of the diamonds, the hardest element, it has ten on carbon. And graphite has the, the softest element. You can't write because it is hardness two or three. So it depends solely on, on, on the structure of, uh, of this element. So probably something like that going on. Second example, time series prediction, future event as privileged information. Suppose we would like to predict uh, what's happened in the week in stock. Is you go up or down? It is. Uh, it will be up plus one, down minus one, and you have information week before you would like to predict what's happened in a week. It is normal situation. But in history, that is the situation. Uh, we use model of Macaulay and Pitts. In historical data, this means that you know all these black crosses, and you would like to predict what's happened in the time of red cross. But privileged information, you know black crosses in historical data, and you know green crosses, what's happened after that, and of what, what's happened after day of prediction. You, you have that. that is privileged information. Ta, ta, uh, uh, price of on stocks. On in privileged information, I have historical data. So the, my problem is given data, give prediction what's happened in seven days after that. Seven days, not, tomorrow. not tomorrow, in seven days after that. But privileged information, whatever I have before and after day of prediction, because I have it in historical data. Which I can say it again. Computer? No, no, using what model? X star, historical data, you have it. You have records. Oh, so the prediction is actual data. Actual data. What happened seven days? Yeah, yeah. It is, uh, uh, what is the problem? You have actual data seven days before. You would like to know what's happened in seven days. But here, privileged information, you have actual data. But uh, in, in, in before a couple of days, say, of day of prediction and after a couple of days. So you can write trajectory. That is privileged information. You will not have this privileged information in real data, but during training, you have it. Okay. Why imagine? I have, I have historical data. Uh, so uh, explanation why, why it, it so happened. If you predict regression, the worst prediction will be on the borders. It's the, the biggest variance. So you have linear regression, normal noise, everything. But if you predict on the border, you will have big variance. In the middle, you have small. And that plays this game. And that is a uh, result. The blue is support vector machine. Uh, purpur is uh, what we do SVM plus with privileged information, future events. And uh, white is um, Oracle SVM because we have a model, we can train 10,000 observation, we have uh, by Bayesian rule, we can do whatever we want. And, 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 and blue is Bayesian rule. And this is prediction uh, one, uh, one step ahead, five steps ahead, eight steps ahead for different training size. Everything is consistent. Uh, why is the yeah. You have probability of error, 
2% or 1%, something like that, you can see this in the heart. And that is the most important example, and we will discuss a lot of this example. So holistic descriptions are a description as privileged information. So I took the simplest problem. I would like to, to, to separate 5 from 8. It is easy problem. So to make it more difficult, we rescale pixel space from 28 to of 28 to 10 by 10. So we have these pictures, and we would like to separate these pictures. So we have pixels, description of pixels like that, and we have privileged information. But to, to, to get privileged information, I asked my friend, who is professor of poetry in Moscow University, to give her impression about digit. And that is impression about digit five. Uh, straightforward, very active, hard, very musculine, with rather clear intention, a sportsman of war, aggressive and ruthless, blah, 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 and I'm 40 years old. And that is impression about that. And this impression about this eight, a young man is energetic and seriously absorbed in his career. He is not absolutely precise and accurate answers, so blah, 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 blah. So, of course, we don't understand this. So we ask to, to, to create codes for that. And that is called active, passive, feminine, musculine, blah, 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 blah. We also cannot code this because we, we, we don't have this feeling. We ask the same person to make for us code. And she did it. Uh, everything is on website. You can, can, can find this. Uh, <coughs> then we have two spaces. One space is pixel space. And another space is description of code. And uh, the person will generate descriptions for different examples of eight. Yeah. And will, but the vocabulary is the dictionary size. Up to here. Up to here. We did not restrict her. The dictionary. Yeah. No, 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 no. Just express your feeling about it. No, but I mean this word vector representation. This is the vector of representation. Then, then she she try from, from her description to create code. And she gives these features, 31 features. No, but for new examples, she will continue to use the same features? Uh, she, she, this is only for training data. For new examples, we don't use this. We don't have our features. Yeah. Then you show the figure eight with some dimples, which is different than mine. She will say some other. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. So for different actual figures, like eight, 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 eight again, but different figures. Yeah, it dif different poems about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Then, 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 then we ask you, okay, you did something. Can you give a code what you yeah. did? And then she did it. Yeah. So this is the result. OK, so we have 28 by 28. We also can compare 28 by 28 with poetic description. So poetic description is better than real code. So <coughs> now I would like to come back to, to, to this equation. As the title of this slide, don't hit the ball, seduce the ball. My friend who study how play golf told me that when he tried to do that, his coach tell him this. And every time when he hit the ball, he explained, you're doing like macho. It does not work. Or you don't want, you're, you're, you're doing and you don't want what you want. You don't know what you want. You should be involved in that. You should be more expressive or something like that. It was everything described in seduction form. And he told me that in a couple of days, he understand what, what uh, coach want him to do. And that is the second space. And that how, how, how it worked, how he, he created environment where similarity, you, 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 you see the similarity between examples is expressed in the way how he want. Because this is just number. It's nothing to do with content of X star. So, and all this creativity 
in creating this an, an genius of, 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 of coach, of teacher, in creating this metaphoric space to explain you. So when teacher talking nonsense, like don't hit the ball, seduce the ball, it can be a great way to, to, uh, to push you in the sense that he gives you good similarity, good, good concept of similarity. And this is the first mechanism which using teacher. And let me describe second mechanism, which is more important, knowledge transfer. So when we given triplets, x, x star, y, actually we have two pattern recognition problems. Uh, one which solving x, y, given x and y is classification, create room in the space f of x. And another is x star y, creating rule in space of x star, in using function of star. And now suppose that you have some great rule in the space of x star, just in, in the second space. Uh, can you use this rule? to create good space in the space of X. That's, can knowledge of the rule in space of X star help you to create rule in the space of X? And that is knowledge transfer. And before I will go to, to explanation of formalities, let me uh, give you example for you to understand what I'm talking about. Uh, suppose that our goal is to classify images x of biopsy in pixel space x in two categories, cancer and non-cancer. Suppose that along with, along with images x, we are given description of the image uh, that is in, in space x star, that is privileged information, reflecting existing model of developing cancer. So, uh, for example, aggressive proliferation of cells, R cells into B cells, or absence of any dynamic in standard picture. That is description of uh, model of how cancer developing. Because the, the, the model is that some bad cells eating good cells. And that is description how it, what, what is dynamic of, of the process. Suppose that in space X, there exists there exist rule which separate training data not much, not much worse than in space X. You know that initial space is space X, all information coming from space X. So, but suppose that, that, uh, that people is so, so great that they create model that in term of this model, you can separate not much worse than than the best rule in the pixel space. Uh, the space X is universal. Pixel space is universal. So you can separate not only, say, cancer cells of, from non-cancer cells, but, say, nice girl of Italian origin from nice girl of Japanese origin. You can use it, pixel space, to do that. So set of function we see dimension of this set of function is rich. But when you created get creating model, it is very particular model, which is reflecting your understanding of cancer. It is not rich. You cannot separate in, 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 the, in the space many different things. It is specialized for something. So we see dimension over here is smaller. So actually, that what 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 teacher playing. So suppose we have knowledge of the space in 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 space X, a model of the rule in space X. So our function in space X, uh, uh, sorry, we 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 know rule in in space X star. 
our function in space star f star is our information and we know this information suppose we know this information and we would like to 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 use this information to 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 improve something in in, in space x so in 50s it was uh, minsky and other guys considered knowledge representation and there are three elements of knowledge representation fundamental element of knowledge in f star then main frames this fragments of knowledge in f star and then structure of knowledge is combination of frames in x star so you have three elements how describing knowledge uh, for learning using privileged information the fundament element of knowledge we define as the smallest number of vectors which describe your decision rule so as you see from svm you have expansion over your kernels and kernel is fixed now uh, and 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 uh, 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 some elements uh, of data are fixed support vectors so now can you minimize the number of support vectors and the smallest number of of, of uh, elements is called fundamental no, no, you, 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 you can say like that, but it is not compression scheme. It is, you're, you're using, say, SVM algorithm. In SVM algorithm, you have support vectors. But maybe you can invent vectors, not from training data, which will give you the same function, but uh, it will be much smaller. You, you can call it compression scheme. Uh, and then uh, function, in 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 this fundamental element you c you're calling frames because it's fragment of knowledge your, your knowledge is expansion on frames and uh, and what i will do i will do i will try to find mm, uh, function in x space which correspond to fun to, to frame in, in x star space that is my goal and let it be image in x space on, on, on this frame. So the function is linear combination of, of, of frames. It is in one space, but it, if I will uh, find good uh, images, so it will be in this space. So instead of, of uh, learning in space with high VC dimension, I would like to learn in space of small VC dimension. To do that, I should find first uh, the fundamental concept of knowledge. So I will minimize over u and beta. Beta is parameters, u is vectors. It is hard computers, uh, com computational problem. But if I will do in reproducing kernel Hilbert space, I will, I, I can write. Uh, it, 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 it has this representation. So, if I will use any kernel, it is very difficult computational problem because you see it is non-linear. Non non but there is one kernel for which it is trivial. It is quadratic kernel. So, I will not go in details, but for quadratic kernel, it's just solution of eigenvector problem, where matrix X is uh, just computed from support vectors. So if you will go through all this arithmetic, you, you can get uh, very straightforward and easy computational problem to, to find fundamental concept of knowledge. And you can see here how much decrease the number of support vectors instead of about 300 you can have 10 and all this stuff but it is just uh, for every decision rule zero versus the rest one versus the rest but if you combine it can be done you can decrease even more so, so you can use the clustering problem in L2 matrix. 
It's not clustering. No, no, you have, you have, so if you using support vector machine to classify 10 class classifiers, you need just no support vectors. That's it. So, but this is the amount of support vectors. You need to have 3,000 support vectors to classify. But instead of this, if you will use fundamental <coughs> concept of knowledge, you need only 150 instead of 10,000. For, for, for digit recognition, for 10 class digit recognition. And using the poetic. No, 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 nothing to do with poetic. It, it just example. It, it, this guy demonstrate that, that quadratic kernel, uh, for quadratic kernel, you can reduce a lot number of support vectors. And he so happens that they use uh, digit recognition for, for that. There are no X star over here. It, it, it just demonstrating technique how for quadratic kernel to get a uh, number of uh, fundamental concept. That's it. It's one element of big scheme. Are you saying that quadratic constraints are more, can be more powerful than linear products? There is only one kernel, yeah. quadratic kernel, yeah. which has remarkable property. For this kernel, you can compute fu fundamental concept of knowledge only for this kernel. And maybe we will discuss what it means. Any other kernel will require very difficult computational problem, minimizing nonlinear functional like that, you, where unknown in kernel u, vector u, and also beta expansion. So you have to minimize that. Which, use, which is useless. But if you will use quadratic kernel, something remarkable happened. So it is easy and, and, and it is fast and it is effective. So this is, this is not related to those poetic discussions. This no. is just the pixel space. It is not pixel space. It is any space you want. I understand. But the example. Example, it is just from pixel space. Just from pixel space. Yes. Okay, now I will talk, I, as soon as I have this for quadratic kernel, uh, my uh, concept of knowledge, fundamental concept of knowledge, I have frames. And I would like to have uh, images of frames in space X. What it means? If I will take expectation of frame, say, probability of x star given x, I don't know, but suppose that it exists. And that is function of c of x. And suppose that c of x is very good, um, you, you have not too big variance. Then if you can find images t1 of x, t m of x, where it is uh, uh, in space x images of frames, then according to, to, to uh, then, then, then your, uh, mm, your decision rule will be expansion f or on, on, on these images. These coefficients equal to coefficients which you obtain from, obtain from, from the space of privileged <laughs> information. So you can transfer your knowledge. As soon as you can uh, make an images, you can transform your knowledge from space of uh, privileged information to space of decision rule. So, okay, so where did the probability come from now? For me? Is the uh, probability is come now from teacher. Teacher have a teacher. probability of x star given x. As soon as I, I, I not require that teacher for any x gives the same x star. He can give different x star. And can you say what, what's the assumption about the x star now in this picture position? No, no assumption. No assumption. Uh, suppose that it, it, it is exists. But I did not tell you how I will find this. It's another story. But 
but that's that's my intention. I would like to find this. So if I will find this, then 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 I'm in good shape, because I just transfer one one uh, f space from 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 special rule to space into of general. And that is knowledge transfer. So <laughs> okay, I will find this uh, solving regression problem. X one zeta one, X one where zeta is uh, k x star u x star. I. So I have my training data. From training data, I can construct uh, this data, and then I will solve regression problem. I will explain why uh, it is solvable better than in, 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 in pixel space, just in pixel space. Because what actually going on? You have one frame of knowledge, one piece of knowledge. And you're trying to construct not whole rule in initial space, but small part of this rule. And when you're using structural risk minimization, it will require a subset of functions with smaller of the two dimensions. Okay. So you can combine these two approaches, namely. Uh, knowledge transfer and similarity control. And that is the, 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 the equation. Uh, let me come back to the main theory. This is theory of, uh, of generalization. When I told you very beginning that uh, probability of test error is less than frequency of test error uh, plus confidence interval which depend on VC dimension over L in degree of D and D between 0 and, and a delta between 0 and 1 minus delta so you would like no it, it, it's a mistake it, 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 it's just, just plus uh, mm, so we would like to have one, not two. Oh. One over two, one over uh, between half and one. Between half and one, uh, yeah. That is the, the, the wrong. So uh, actually, when I do similarity measure, similarity control, I am controlling this, this, this delta. I trying to, 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 to make between closer to one not to one over two. But when I do knowledge transfer, I just trying to do something better with VC dimension. And it looks like it, I, to my understanding, because uh, it is necessary and sufficient condition for learnability, it is only trick which can play teacher. So what is brute force learning paradigm is use structural risk minimization on the given structure. It's actually nothing but estimating uh, function from the data. And intelligent learning paradigm, additionally to structural risk minimization, minimizing delta using similarity control mechanism and minimizing VC dimension using uh, knowledge transfer mechanism. That's it, but I would like to say a couple of words about uh, philosophy that exists in artificial intelligence, in pattern recognition, and you can read this. We can stop looking for scientific models, we can analyze data without hypothesis, and use the best computer in the world, blah, 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 blah. blah. Very brave guy. Uh, the story is not how fast you compute. 
the story is how much data you need, how much information you need. You will need zillion and zillion examples. Even if you have the, the, the absolutely com computational power, which you can do immediately. And then cal cargo cult philosophy. Uh, fine answer to the question, how is going on without understanding mathematical question, what's going on? Uh, because when you will look in, in existing, uh, say, um, machine learning techniques, or deep learning, many levels, it is how it's going on. It's nothing to do with foundation. It's nothing to do uh, with fundamentals. You should ask what's going on. And what's going on is you have to minimize this equation. It is necessary in sufficient condition for vulnerability. And there are no other factors, only one. And that's alternatively. Construct methods which reflect mathematical understanding of reasoning, leading to generalization. And that's a great remark of Popper. Science starts with problems rather than with observations. That means you should think something. You should understand fundamentals. You should understand how, how nature working, and then start to observe. And that is difficult part. Uh, so what's happened here? For the first time, we try to understand what teacher doing. And why when teacher talking nonsense, it is useful. So I, when I understood this, I found one guy in Princeton University who all his life um, studied metaphoric reasoning. I came to him and asked, what? Reasoning. Uh, uh, his name is Glasberg, Professor Glasberg. And I asked him what psychologists know about that. And he answered me, we know nothing about that. But my great teachers taught me exactly in this way. Thank you. <laughs>